I always thought when I was younger that I didn't have a passion. I was kind of jealous of people who had a passion and they knew they wanted to be an actor or they knew they wanted to be an architect because I didn't know that I could make a living doing this. It seemed like I couldn't. I've been doing this for uh, a number of years now, but it takes a little while to get into it, for sure. Before I was in adventure journalism, a lot of my jobs were adventurous in and of themselves. Uh, I was a caretaker for a cabin up in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. Um, I delivered sailboats across the oceans. The trick, of course, is finding a way to make a living at it. I think the biggest thing that draws me into it is the um, aspect of being out in nature. I don't know that it's the, you know, the risk factor that is the biggest draw to me. For me, the biggest draw is I just love being outside. I love camping. I love the rain on the tent. I love the rain on my face. I love the sunshine and the fresh air. And I think the simplicity of humanity uh, when it comes to that. I did a study abroad program in Nepal many years ago. And I remember coming back to the States and everything was, you know, packaged in supermarkets. And in Nepal, it was like, you get what you get. It's what it is, is right there in front of you. It's not sugar-coated, it's not plastic wrapped. It's simple and beautiful. I think that's the biggest thing that draws me into this work. If you want to be able to get outside and do adventures, you need to not be a liability for the environment that you're in. So you're gonna to need to take wilderness first aid, CPR. You're gonna to need to get out there and experience, do your own skiing and climbing and hiking and backpacking and whatever it is that you wanna be involved in. You need to get the skill set to be competent in that sufficiently before you go trying to document it. So if your passion is to be an adventure correspondent, then go adventuring on your own, gain the skill set and then you'll be in a place to uh, adventure for others. I think from my you know, many years of search and rescue work in the mountains that I did um, has helped to develop a sense of comfort with just being out here. And uh, this is a more natural environment for me than you know, being indoors, any kind of indoors. Well, the most challenging obstacle, like I said, is probably getting paid. You know, finding people for whom it's valuable, i.e. they will pay you to go do this. Writers uh, run the gamut on what kind of income they make uh, from their writing. Continuing to improve your game to have a higher quality of output so that your work demands a higher price. You know, you start to evolve from no pay to um, making, you know, 35, 40, 50 cents a word. I think for many a, a target rate is in the two, three dollars a word and then you get beyond getting paid per word, you get paid per project or you're involved in a book or it really runs the gamut. I'm living my dream and I can only hope that it inspires others to do the same as I am inspired by those who are living their dream also. So I think my, my biggest inspiration is to help people find the drive to live their dreams. And I think that makes for happy people, which makes for a great place to live and a great society to be in.